Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna teach you exactly how to cut chipboard on your Cricut Maker. We are going to use our knife blade today and have a lot of fun getting crafty with the Cricut Heavy Chipboard. This is something Cricut has developed to work exclusively in the Maker. It's actually 11 by 11, so it's perfect to use with the Cricut Maker because we're gonna have to push those stars all over to the side and only have about 11 width to work with. So this is why they have designed it. And that is a great um, question a lot of people ask is, Tanner, why is the chipboard only 11 by 11? So there's a lot of different twists and turns that we have to take for when working with chipboard that we're going to answer in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited and let's jump into sharing with you exactly how to cut chipboard. Before we get started with the chipboard, let's talk about this amazing knife blade. Now the knife blade does not come when you buy the Cricut Maker. It is an add-on tool that you can pick up if you choose to. It's a great tool. Um, right here we have this adorable little cake stand that we actually made out of the Cricut Heavy Chipboard. This is a Make It Now project from Cricut. And as you can see, it's so adorable. It's a perfect project. You can use whatever cardstock you want build it, put it together, and it's so easy. So I love doing 3D projects. We're going to make a really fun little coaster today, which is gonna be really awesome. And I'm gonna share with you all the tips and tricks for working with your heavy duty chipboard um, with, from Cricut. But again, if you have any other brands, it'll work pretty much the same. Some of your supplies needed, obviously the Cricut knife blade that we're gonna put into clamp B. You're gonna need some masking tape, you have to use a sh purple strong grip mat and then the chipboard of your choice. So not too, too many supplies needed. Um, you can have some canned air um, in case there's any um, debris that happens, but that happens usually more with sawdust when you're cutting wood. Doesn't happen too often with the chipboard. And personally, I prefer using chipboard over wood just because in our research and testing, you get a much more consistent um, cut using the heavy duty chipboard and it doesn't take as long. So it's a win-win from both sides. So it's really easy to prepare your chipboard. All you wanna do is just go ahead and grab a sheet of chipboard, just like so, and position it down onto your Cricut mat. So I like to put it over in the left-hand corner and place down. And you have a very large surface area, which is great. And then we like to take the masking tape and go around all four edges. Um, and this is just going to help position it down onto the mat so it doesn't want to peel up at all. So just like so, position this down. And I kind of take my finger and I go in the middle first and then lay it out. And then we're gonna repeat this to all four sides. So a big question we get is, Tanner, what happens if the knife cuts where you're laying down this tape? And guess what? It's totally fine. It's very light masking tape. It will not damage your cut at all. This knife blade is so amazing um, that it's really easy to cut through. And guess what? You can peel this masking tape up really simply um, and really quick. So it's not a big deal at all damaging your chipboard. So that's all you have to do to prepare the chipboard on the mat. And then the next thing is you just wanna take this knife blade and where it has um, the little you know, position where it's not with the plastic, we're gonna line that up right here in the back and press it in and then close clamp B. It is honestly that easy to insert any of the adaptive tool system um, tools. It's super simple and I love it. So now let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, guys, now we're in design space, so we're just gonna go over to upload, and we're actually gonna scroll through our own library because we're using a file from our brand new collection that is actually for the adaptive tool system. So we have a whole collection of cut files that we're gonna be able to design and use um, for all of our different adaptive tools. So if you have a knife blade and you're like, Tanner, I wanna use it more, and you're a Maker's Gonna Learn member, you are going to absolutely love this collection. So head on over there to download it today, and you can make these coasters along with us. So this is our hexagon coaster. 
we are going to cut this at 5.6 by 10 inches um, and it's ready to go. So we're just going to click make it. And then we're going to press continue. And now we're going to connect via Bluetooth. Once we have connected to our machine, we are now going to set the material. Click browse all material and just type in heavy and you will find heavy chipboard. This is heavy chipboard 2.0mm. So just select that and press done. And it will offer for you to calibrate your knife blade. Um, I like to do this when I first um, receive a new blade or something like that, but we have already went through that process and it cuts great with our machine. So we're gonna press no. And I love the notes that it has here. Move star wheels all the way to the right. Make sure material is no wider than 11 inches and is secured to a strong grip mat using masking tape on all four sides. Um, sides. So once you're good to go, it allows you um, to load the mat and load knife, the knife blade in clamp B. We've already done so. So now we're going to take our mat and just load it into the machine. And after this, we'll be able to press the flashing cricket button. And now it's really good to note to make sure that you are going to have a really long cut time. So you need to leave your computer on, like turn sleep mode off and all those different things. And once you're good to go, press that flashing cricket button. All right, guys, it is actually finished cutting. And believe it or not, this is only 13 out of 20 passes and it was already popping up off of the mat, which is really, really cool. So let's take a look at how I cut. All right, guys, here it is. And we're able to quickly just pop this up right out of here if we want. Look at how awesome. I mean, these cuts are really, really cool. So I like to kind of take the masking tape off so that we can peel it up and it's a little bit easier. Just like so. And then we're able to kind of just pop this out and you can see here how awesome this is. So here's piece one. Look at this. Really great results. You can just quickly take this masking tape off. Look at how great that is, like it wasn't even there. Um, so if you guys had any worry about that, have no fear. Um, it cuts really, really well. So then we can pop this second piece out. And guys, this was only 13 passes. So sometimes if you can literally see your project coming off, um, you know, you're good. So look at how awesome this is. You'll be able to paint this two different colors, have a really, really awesome coaster, and you can make a set of these. My tip would be you must seal this with some type of sealer. I like to use like a spray sealer before painting this because this chipboard will just absorb your paint and it'll be coats and coats. So be sure to seal this before painting so it doesn't absorb at all. But you're gonna have a lot of fun crafting with this Cricut Heavy chipboard. What did you guys think about learning how to cut chipboard with your Cricut Maker and knife blade? I absolutely love the results of this and I think you are going to as well. If you have any questions, be sure to leave us a comment. If you'd like to get more information on getting access to our hundreds of different digital cut files, as well as fonts and video trainings teaching you how to master your die cutting machine, be sure to check out our membership site at the first link down below. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day and thanks for joining us. See ya.